Okay, we're live. We're ready. We're in it. It's time. The time has come for some improv. Damn it, it opened up to the wrong page. Okay, hold on. It's almost time for the improv. It's all... Shit. Almost, almost like no one here is prepared, huh? Uh, yep. Nobody is prepared. No, I want... <laughs> no! Why?! Shit. Okay, you're all gonna see some uh, trippy stuff right now. Look at this. <laughs> Streamlabs, why? There we go. Whoa, okay. Now we're ready. Now we're ready to do some improv. Now we're ready to do some gosh darn improvised Dungeons and Dragons. Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Hello, Conspiring Bulbasaur. Thank you for your patience. I know Wednesday didn't happen, but now you're here, and have we got a juicy cast for you, because today I have only brought on board two people, and both of them are completely new to this. Neither of them have done this before. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be juicy. It's gonna be good. Uh, first up, we got Callie. Yo, what up? What up? So what's your, uh, what's... Uh, this guy. What's your favorite animal? A uh, fox. What's your... F what do you have for breakfast? Cereal. What were you doing on December 15th, 2016? Your mom. Nice. Boom. I got roasted. Why do we only have two people? Because I felt like running with two people today. Uh, and also, these were the only two who responded to my invitation and who applied before, like, the three-hour mark before we started. Oh, or Homicide. Yeah, I just murdered everybody else who applied. Uh, okay, we also have on board Don. Hi, that's me. Hello, Don. Uh, how you doing? I'm fine. Living your best life? God if only. <laughs> you got what? God if only. If only. What what would make your life better right now? Uh probably getting some sleep, honestly. Probably getting some sleep. <laughs> yeah, sleep. That's okay, well we're here to keep you awake. <laughs> yep. And that's completely fine. Good. I'm glad you're fine with that. Uh Cool. River, did you apply? Hold on. You know what? I'm gonna check the Roll20 listing right now. There were a lot of applications, but they always come, like, an hour before we start. And then... And I invited other people. Grizz the DM and Carson. River A. Ah, oh, River BBX. Taught myself how to play through Roll20. Mainly GM. River, do you want to play? River BBX? Because I'll take on three new people. That's... Uh, fuck it. <laughs> fuck. Fuck it. That's the total improv slogan. No, I said if you want to If you want to play, saying. join the Discord right now and ping me. And I'll add you into this game. That's how we improvise. Uh, okay. So, this is a train wreck. <laughs> I think we're doing great. Look, we got Oprah here watching over us. Makes me feel good. Makes me feel ready. I feel ready. Callie and Don, are you ready to find out what you're going to be playing? No. Okay. <laughs> well, you're going to find out now anyways. Uh, okay. Callie, you're going to be playing a Dwarf Ranger Entertainer. Alright. Turn Johnny's volume up. Oh, Johnny, let me make you a little louder for the folks at home. There you go. Oh, oh sorry. No, you're, you're good. Alright, uh, cool. Okay, and Johnny, or Don. Yeah. Whatever you want. <laughs> or Donnie? 
You're gonna be a sure. Furbolg rogue pirate. Okay. I can work with that. Awesome. You're a Furbolg rogue pirate. Uh, great. Well, that's all we needed to know. Wait, ugh, another pirate? God damn it. We had a pirate. Yep. Another pirate. So if you'll see what I typed in here, just take out the period. Just put exclamation mark care sheet. It'll make a sheet for you. And then, you know, you can just go ahead and get started and uh, start building that character. Launch the character mancer. And it'll walk you right through it. Uh, like in the roll 20, just put it. Yep. In the roll 20 chat. Of course. Okay. And uh, here's a little, as is required, here's a little uh, pirate music. T-Rex incoming. Yeah, chat might summon some weird stuff today. I have the feeling they got a lot of points built up, especially after the big payout last night. Uh, okay. Awesome. So, yeah, no, just launch it. Launch that character, Mancer, and let me know if you two are having any trouble at all. Please. Otherwise, we're just gonna find out later anyways. Awesome. Uh... Okay. Uh, chat! It's time! What's our starting location for this session? We have uh, a pirate and an entertainer. A train crash that led to a train wreck. EA Games headquarters. I mean, that is appropriate for a pirate. Ah! Ah, ha, ha. ah maybe that's what Rook was going for. The Underground from Undertale. I never played Undertale. Uh, have you? Have either of you played Undertale? Yeah, uh, I have. Okay, I I haven't. What was I going for? Because it's a pirate EA Games. Mine is a great idea. Flightless Dragon Parliament. That's just that's just regular parliaments. It's filled with old scaly people that can't fly. Got him. Okay. Fine. That's the that's the three options. You can all vote. New poll. Five minutes. And uh, remember, remember you two, while you're building the characters, you should randomly choose everything. Yep. There should be an option there to roll for stats, but let me know if it's not working. Okay. S starting location. Train crash. EA Games HQ and uh, Lightless Dragon Parliament. Okay. okay, hold on, there's not enough room, so we're just gonna call this Fless Dragon Parliament. There you go. You choose. Robotic core and castle area? That just sounds like a regular D&D game. Whereas this is anything but a regular D&D game. Y'all know what I'm saying? Yesterday... What did we start at yesterday? Why am I blanking? It was a good session. It just was... Oh yeah, it was a parade. It was a parade for Archduke Fard Ferdinand. No. Ferdinand Far uh -oh. Ferdinand Farts. <laughs> But he's, uh, he was fine. He lived. It was a love story. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. This is a literal, what is, it hasn't been that much of a train wreck, I think. Hilarious. 13, 12. Oh, a 5? Yep. Uh, my god. Look at uh, that. You know folks. that's gonna be intelligence, right? Well, you gotta go down the line. So that 5 is wisdom. Oh, wisdom. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's still fine. It's already gone to shit. Nice. 
there's nothing like just getting down there in the shit, getting your hands dirty, you know, really, really getting those poopy fing- <laughs> poopy fingers. Pickles was the best character. Caught up on the stream. Oh. Well, thank you for rewatching our VODs. By the way, every stream is re-uploaded to YouTube if you'd like to catch the older ones. Except right now, because Twitch broke last night. Twitch has been having a bad time lately. Uh, okay, this is good. Mrs. Frumples is my favorite conspiring. Oh. This game's river. Still looking for play. Fucking. I'm evil. Man. You're you're evil. Well, I mean, don't don't feel constrained by your uh, alignment because. When no, people know, are you, you, you end up like killing each other. Let's be the fastest stream we have. Two evil characters. <laughs> that's that's gonna last all of thirty minutes before you kill each other. Oh no, I feel like I'm just gonna be a dick to people. That's that's the same thing. It's the same thing. Not to him. That... Or maybe to. I don't know. I decided that. I'm assuming we're going for uh, class equipment, like, or to just. Uh, uh class equipment just, is fine. Just, matter. just scroll. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Some people give themselves no equipment, and really have to improvise. Looks like it's a two-way tie. If it's a two-way tie, then it goes to the improvisers to choose. Wow! Look at that. Quite the split. I have no feelings either way. You could do a train crash into the parliament building. <laughs> Combine the win. I okay. Mean, you could. We could do that. We could I could I could build that map somehow. And it, <laughs> What if it's like train parliament? What if it's parliament in a train? That is correct. Uh, wait. It's like it's like three things because the train is also a what train if, wreck. What if it's a train uh, to a train carrying the pe uh, the people from the parliament? Yeah. Crashed. So so all the politicians are dead, and now <laughs> and now it's just you two left to run the country. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay, how much how much time is left on the poll? Oh, it's almost done. It's like Snowpiercer that crashed with dragons. Right, I forgot. You're also... All the flightless dragons died. They couldn't fly away. And the train crashed. Yep, there we go. We got... There it is. Train crash and flightless dragon parliaments have both won. Well... Improvisers, what do you think? What do you, what inspires you? I mean, babies. That that is not uh, out of the two options presented, or do you want to do both? We we crashed uh, we crashed a tr we we crashed a train into the parliament to uh, rob it or something like that. <laughs> nah. Wow, we're starting right in media res. <laughs> Have to leave in 40 minutes, so make sure something exciting happens. Okay. Uh, goddamn. Well, we'll figure it out. Let's see here. First, I'm just gonna see what maps Roll20 has in that case, and we're gonna go from there. Oh, my card is already done. Oh, nice. Okay, hold up. Why is this? I looked up Parliament in the Roll20 searcher, and this is the only thing that appeared. <laughs> huh. What a hilarious I, meme. We could use that. 
Could we get a... Could we get a... A poggers in the champ chat for this... <laughs> use that as the map? That's the map! Okay. F fuck it. We're going full train wreck. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Callie and Don. <laughs> this is what I didn't sign up for, but I'm not mad. <laughs> oh my god. Your character's ready? It doesn't have a name. Oh, one of these has a name. Jake Snowfinch. Oh. Probably yeah. a name. Because... You can't read the bottom text? I'm sorry, one second. You gotta show the bottom text. You can read the... Oh, right, their names are in the way. There you go. It's hilarious. It's uh, a classic demotivational poster. Okay, the setting is gonna be 2008. You mean you can't read? Look, it's. It says because nothing says random like An Monk Five slash Ninja yeah, Two Awakened Squirrel. No, I'm, I'm not I telling you. It. I'm telling chat. Oh, sorry. With capital I improved critical parentheses Acorn. Your yellow text was in the way. Oh, sorry. That is just like a. That is just a, a meme you'd expect for someone to make uh, to make out of 3.5 during the 3.5 time, you know? Did you both disconnect from Roll20? Is Roll20 not functioning? Uh, I can relog. I can try to relog. Yeah, sure. Because uh, you also, because you, uh, it shows for me you also both disconnected. My connection to the server has been interrupted. <laughs> Great. And Roll20 is oh, crashing. Boy. What a train wreck. <laughs> can I even summon up the, the sheets? Oh, I can summon up the sheets. Okay. You know what? Then let's do the interview process now. And we'll get to the other stuff later and hope Roll20 works. The time, 2000 days. Our character, Mike Dong. Mike Dong, hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, I'm here. You're a dwarf ranger jester. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Any questions from the chat for Mike Dong? Uh, someone stole your... Okay, so Mike Dong, are you a jester in, like, a court? Are you freelance? What's the deal? I'm, uh, I'm everything. I, I, but I guess I'm not on freelance. Freelance. Freelance jester. Uh, make a decent living? Or do you busk? Oh, yeah. You bu I I busks. Do. Okay. Yeah. See, Jack. Although, my middle name is uh, Hard. Is is what? It's Hard. Hard. My middle name. Mike Hard Dong. Oh my God! This is a. <laughs> this is gonna be. Oh man, okay. What is your special precious instrument? And who uh, stole it? I think it was a, I think it was a, uh, a viola, I think it was. A viola? Somebody stole your viola? Who stole your viola? Was it, was it a, yeah, yeah. No, I you know, it was a horn. And uh, a goblin took it. Horn was stolen by the go- was stolen by a goblin. Yeah. Uh, a, a horny goblin? Yeah, one could say. Aha. Ho ho. <laughs> also, um, I'm a dwarf, but I am 10 feet tall. I, t I, t I see that. 10 foot tall and 250 pounds. So you're still rakishly yeah. thin. Yeah, I am. Which is kind of weird. I, I think we need to em embrace the train wreck on this one. I don't have... I, I'm gonna try and extract a little more platform, but we're just uh, we're just doing this. You have a love letter. Is it to or from somebody? It's to myself. Okay, love letter to self. What's the deal? Uh, I got drunk one night and I just wrote it. Got drunk and wrote it. Yeah. Well, what does it say? Actually. Could you, uh, could you please read it out to us now, if you would oh, sure. be so kind? Thank you. Dear Mike Hardong, <laughs> I forgot your fucking keys in the tavern. 
what the fuck is wrong with you? Do you think that life is a joke? Do you think that everything in this world is just make-believe? Your girlfriend left you two years ago and your dog is dying of cancer. Get your life straight. Love, Mike. Damn. Okay, next character. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this... <laughs> this is gonna be... This is gonna be a session. This is gonna be one of those... Jake Snowfinch. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. You're a Furbolg rogue pirate. Yes. Yes. Do you have a middle name? Asked C Jack. No. No middle name. Just don't tell Disney. Are you? But you are a pirate. Yes. What do you uh? What do you steal or pillage? Cars mostly. You know, go to the car, break a window, take radio. Steals radios from cars. Steals cars sound system. Okay. <laughs> Steals... I mean, I'm a pirate. 2008. What do you want from me? Uh, no, I, I understand. And but your ship is most important. Tell me about your ship. I, it's my Toyota 2004 Toyota Corolla. Has a 2004 Toyota Corolla. Would you, did you name it? No. Not yet. Not named yet. Okay, that's an important plot. No, point. no, that's the name. Oh, okay, not yet. Not yet the Toyota Corolla. 2004 Toyota Corolla. Uh, yes, the ship is a car. Uh, you have a bad reputation. Why? Just because you steal from cars? Do you have, oh, like, a yeah, and... a criminal name? Like, the the sound system bandits or something? No, people just refer to me as the, the one weirdo who dresses like a pirate and steals things from cars. It's a very long nickname. The one weirdo who dresses like a pirate and steals things from cars. Hold on, I'm writing this down. And steals things from cars. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you have a also, bed roll? Foot... What? Yes? I'm a five foot tall for bulk. I just okay. wanted to tell you it was important to mention. So your, your partner in crime here is twice as tall as you. Yes. But you're 50 pounds heavier than him. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> you, you, your friends can rely on you, though. Your one friend. This is like a Wes Anderson movie or something. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, literally Wario and Waluigi. Thank you. That's. I think that's the sense I'm getting. I. I don't know. I don't have any other questions. I don't know what we're doing. We're, our starting location is a bird, is 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 a bird, a squirrel. Between two trees. <laughs> it's hold on. I'm renaming this episode right now. A literal train wreck. Oh, uh, it's not a literal train wreck. It, but that's that's the, that's the part. That's the tr that's the other part of the train wreck. That it's not even <laughs> a literal train wreck. I know. <laughs> Don't start that again. Okay. What are we... I... <laughs> Let's just... I mean, okay, wait. We have to figure out your levels. You're very... It's very important. Okay, you're both going to be level four. Fair enough. Uh, nice. You're going to be level four. Do you know how to level up with the character mancer? No idea. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, you go to... Hold on, I got you, Mike. Mike Harddong. Cool. Thanks. Okay, close and open your sheet, and it'll walk you right through it and make sure you put level 1 plus 4, or else you have to do this all over again. Uh... <laughs> chat? I guess I'm putting NPCs in this... D 
demotivational poster. Could I get a name for this mystical pylon? This this spooky skeleton? And uh this this dog? No. That's Pylon? Right. Right. A d uh what? Pi, okay, fine. Ad pi additionally constructed on. Lawn. <laughs> what is... Uh, wah, wah, Mike! And, the, and this dog's name? Thank you to whoever's still watching this, uh, this literal train wreck. Please. We need a name for this dog, please. I beg of you. Because nothing says random like a monk, like and monk. Train wreck. Train wreck the dog. Why not? <laughs> no, uh, there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a sleeping dwarf. Named Cat. Actually, no, this is gonna be Mike Hard's token. You didn't choose a token. Uh, Mike. Mike Dong's token, excuse me. Alright. <laughs> Could it be the, the sleeping dwarf? <laughs> keep those names coming. I'll just keep putting down tokens and we'll hope there's something. Welcome to welcome to Parliament, everybody. <laughs> this is like I. <laughs> oh, is my character done? Is your character done? Uh, it, it, it like cooked me out of it. Oh, just close and open it again. Sorry, I, I was adding your custom token. Um, it does that sometimes. Here's Cat the alien. Okay, you know what this. This makes sense. See, this is Parliament. Here are the two aisles, and the Speaker of the House is a giant squirrel named Justin Trudeau. Great. See, it it all it all makes sense, right? Oh dear God, it's not loaded. And let's find a train. Wait, oh, is there a train wreck? Okay. Nope. I thought this was improv, not the news. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> train is called Bodie McBoatface, sure. This train is also here, and it is wrecked. It's... There we go. Okay, we just need a token for Jake Snowfinch. The fur bull. Oh, there's the train wreck. <laughs> let's, find you a, let's find you a fur bull, shall we? Sure. You can do a part or two if you want. <laughs> sure, whatever. We've already established that these... <laughs> These tokens do not need to match reality. Do you want this this cat girl? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Are you sure? You can you can turn it down. Oh fuck it. Okay. There's Jake Snowfinch, folks. I'll take it. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You two should be on the same side of the aisle, I think. With your with your parliamentary ally, Pi additionally constructed lawn. And this is gonna be this episode is gonna be a, a hardcore political commentary. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. What are we doing here, folks? What are we? 
Well, if we're in a parliament, so we have to be discussing something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, chat. Before we get started, because I think we're actually about ready. What's uh? Okay. What's the issue of the day here? <clears throat> Unless you two have any suggestions. Nuts. Cut him. I spelled Trudeau Why wrong. Why so, we should abolish Texas. Why we should abolish Texas. Is this in, in the United States? Uh, no, like the, the state. The state of Texas. Yes. No, uh, not like... Hardcore political... Abolish Texas. Yeah, okay. Discussing why you should abolish... Oh my god. What... <laughs> what is... Okay, I'm gonna... Let's do this. Are you two ready? Not at all. Okay. This might be... Sorry. You know what? As I said, we're going to embrace the train wreck, and that's what we're going to do. So here goes nothing. Gather round ye all from uh, from kingdom come to kingdom thumb. Just come? Just, just, if you're from kingdom come, that's fine. Stop coming. Don't, shh, I'm narrating. From. What if you're a free citizen? It is time to decide upon as car parliament is called into session by Speaker Justin Trudeau. Of this great country, this great land of uh, Agoth in the Empire of Evranis. We meet to discuss the abolition of Texas. There's one thing everybody knows about this world. You all know this. You all know this information. The god of knowledge is an ancient lich. There's also something only one of you two knows, and you've been keeping it a secret. Will it be relevant? Who knows? I'm going to whisper it to you, Don. There's also something no neither of you know, but I know it. It's this. You know this, audience. <laughs> it may or may not be relevant. And now we join Speaker of the House, Justin Trudeau. As the, uh, as the, as the parliamentarians mourn the loss of 90% of parliament after the terrible train wreck that just happened. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, says Justin Trudeau. I, uh... We are here to pay our respects to the 97 people who died 10 minutes ago before we call Parliament back into session. Who were brutally murdered by Bodie McBoatface, the train. Jake Snowfinch, do you have any words to say? Why do my accent changed like three times there? Okay, go ahead, Jake. Yeah. Is it a bit insensitive that, that that guy's named Trainwreck when there was a little train wreck that killed people? Hey! I got nothing to do with this, says Trainwreck. The Trainwreck party, <laughs> named after me, Trainwreck, is is a proud and long-standing conservative party. I'm a bad dog. Stand back. I'll, I'll hold him back, says Cat as he holds him back. Uh, would you continue, Jake, says Justin Trudeau. My point is, this was obviously a targeted attack on someone. Someone here that I do, that I believe survived it, but coordinated by someone else that I also believe survived it. And I'm not pointing fingers. But this, this gives us a, this is something to think about, because a train could not have reasonably came into the house of the parliament oh. if it wasn't predetermined. 
What are you trying to say? Wah, says Wah Mike. I'm trying to say that someone tried to kill someone here. Someone here tried to kill someone else here. You are the famed criminal, the one weirdo who dresses like a pirate and steals things from cars. Wah! Yes, I, I steal things from cars. I don't <laughs> kill people. Don't, don't listen to him, says Pi. Jake, I still love you. Thanks. You're, you're welcome, Jake. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh. Do you all know who, who I am? Whoa, Mike's awake. Yeah, uh, I woke up this morning and now gain different voices every two seconds. I don't know what's happening. Well, this is what's happening, says Wa Mike, as chat gifts him a trinket. <laughs> Wa Mike pulls out a, uh... Wa Mike reaches into his bony hip and pulls out a small weightless stone block and says... I found this inside the train. Wow. And this stone block has Mike Dong's fingerprints all over it. Wow. All right. That is, wait, what even is that? It's a stone block. Specifically a small weightless stone block. I didn't even pick it up, it was floating there. Wow. Y yeah, that's my favorite stone rock. Why'd you pick it up? Because it shows around, you just floats everywhere. Uh, <laughs> because it tastes. It looked cool. Did you say it tastes? Were you gonna eat it? Maybe. Wait, how do you even? How would you even taste things? How? You're a skeleton. How would you, you taste tongue? things? Says Pi. No. I see. Please, personal space. All right, that is enough, gentlemen. Says Justin Trudeau. We need to discuss the issue at hand: the abolition of Texas. Mike. The hell, of Texas. Mike Hardong, you were the one who presented the bill. So, I was at a Dairy Queen one day, and this guy just cut me in line. And he had, a, he, uh, I looked at his card, and he had, like, like the Texas flag or whatever on it. So, uh, I wanted to just abolish it. That's a good reason, says Justin Trudeau. Your response, Trainwreck? Ah, that's, it's a lie, says Trainwreck. That wasn't, uh... Texas is filled with literally millions of people. We can't just abandon them. Why not? We're politicians. We don't care about anyone other than ourselves. You're very true. You think you're so cool, Jake Snowfinch and Mike Hardong? Yes. What, just because you met while you were stealing from cars together? Yeah, that's... Uh, Wait. In, in my defense, it wasn't a car, it was a uh, skateboard. We flash cool back game. to when you first met. Because something, somebody needs to, something needs to happen. Uh, <laughs> hold on, let me pull out a street in a car. Yes, we flash back to 2001. When, uh, you were, when Jake Snowfinch was just on the block. On the prowl, looking for cars to steal one from, and he he came across one, lying there in the middle of the street. Uh, this one, because it looked really cool. Okay. Ah, uh, look at that! A flat JPEG image of a car. No, Mike, you're I, not there I, yet. I, Oh, I'm not okay. Yeah. 
Jake Jake Snowfinch is by himself right now. I'm gonna move to the side and very discreetly smash the window. Very Yeah, make an attack roll. Sure. <laughs> roll <laughs> Roll a one D one hundred. As you crit fumble. Two. <laughs> really? <laughs> With a two. You lose your combat footing, exposing yourself to your tar to the target. <laughs> the I slip on a banana peel. You slip on a banana peel. And fall on your butt. All of a sudden, you hear a whoop whoop as red lights flash. Oh fuck! It's this a is fuzz. a this is a police car that you just tried to break into. Okay, never mind. We summoned a spotlight on the car, so this is. Our, the the car is sentient. Oh shit! It's the fuzz. It's the sound of the police. Okay, the the car says. I didn't ask for this life. I'm just a lowly patrol car. Doing what needs to be done, keeping the streets safe. Hey, can I get you, radio? But here I am, being broken into by a hey, listen, cat girl radio, verbal. Right? What? I just want your radio, right? No, hold on, I'm monologuing. Quiet. You know, someday, I hope I can grow up into a big train. Yeah, that would be nice. I wanna, I wanna slash his, tri his tires. I'd love to become a big train. He says. I wanna slash his tires while he's monologuing. You can't! He's monologuing! Okay. We jump back up and you're, you've fallen prone. Fair enough. He, anyways, he turns, he flashes light and turns to you and goes, Whoop, whoop, whoop! You're under arrest for trying to break into a police car, which is me. Yeah, how are you gonna arrest me, huh? Uh, he takes out a gun and points it at you. Oh, fuck. Get on the ground! Yeah, you're going away for a long time. I know who you is. You're the one weirdo who dresses like a pirate and steals things from cars. Well, buddy, us cars are tired of this bullshit. And it's at this moment that... Mike Hardong, you just happen to be walking by. Um, where's the where's the gun coming from? The gun is uh, it's the the window unfurled and then the gun's just like poking out. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and slash it and be like, no police brutality. <laughs> Make an attack roll. Wait, slash the gun or slash the tires? Slash the gun. Okay, make an attack roll. Oh, okay, that's a crit success. Just the the, the gun goes flying away. Shit, goes the police car. This isn't ah. the last you've heard of me. What's the name of this cop car, chat? <laughs> the sentient cop car. This ain't the last you heard of me. We already had one officer named A Cab, but sure. Oh, but he's A Cab. <laughs> oh, 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 A Cab <laughs> peels out. Wait, actually, let's put him on the GM layer so I can use him later. Okay. Jake, this random dwarf just saved you. Yeah, saved me life. I can't go to prison looking like this. Oh. I mean, you look at me. I mean, you do look kind of scabby. What's that on your left eye? Well, an eye patch. All pirates wear them. <laughs> Is it at all, like, helpful? It just seems like it covers an eye. Well, yes, that's what the eye patches are paid for, right? Yeah, but, like... Just have it closed. I mean, we're, it's 2001. Like, you don't need an eye patch anymore. Yeah, but like, it looks cool though. That, that is true. 
He's a yeah. cool guy. You too. He took that police car down, no problem. Yeah, I hate pol police brutality. Ever since <sighs> one of them took my Dairy Queen. Damn. I can't forgive him. Sounds rough. Yeah. Wanna steal from cars? Sure. Hey, cool, a gun, says this goblin, who walks away with I... the gun. What, what is he doing? Just a gun. Ah, uh, I still got your horn, he says, as he runs away. God damn it, the <laughs> horn goblin. <laughs> you know this guy. And a whoop, 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 yeah, whoop, dick. Whoop, whoop. He doesn't actually do anything too bad. He just sort of is there. We return to the present. Fair enough. So you think, so you think you could just come to Parliament and 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 and, and try and pass your own agenda? Says Trainwreck. I've been here, uh, three months, which is like several years in dog years. But wouldn't that also mean that we were here longer since we're trying Not, to dog years? But I'm a dog. He is a dog. And I'm a. And he is a, and dog, a dog. Says Justin Trudeau. And, and I'm a dog of, of the world. We're all dogs in some sort of way. <laughs> I've, I'm not a dog. I've had, Spy. I've had police people call me a dog before. Hmm. What a sad time. Well, then it is time for us to vote, says Justin Trudeau. All in favor of abolishing Texas, say aye. 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 Aye! All opposed, say nay. 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 Wah, I mean nay. It looks like they, we are at a standstill, says Justin Trudeau. We will have to pro. We will have to prorogue Parliament until something is resolved. I call this session of Parliament out. Oh, uh, cowboys. And we, we'll we'll come back into session in an hour. Okay, do you, so you you leave Parliament, uh, and meet outside the you three meet outside together outside the building. Oh, whoops! Let me take this off. Dynamic lighting or legacy lighting? Ooh, well, no more. Wow! How are we gonna ever get that bill passed? Says Pi. Uh, has anyone else noticed how? Futuristic the city is, even though it's like 2006. Oh, uh, this is just Detroit. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. <laughs> well, we could always try to get some dirt on our opponents. Or just kill them, whichever is easier. Both work. Wow, you're so... You're so smart and cunning, Jake, says Pi. Thanks. Wow. Oh. Do you want to rub my crystal sphere? What does that mean? Uh, I've, I've heard about this. It's a very sexual process. If you want it to be. No, thanks. I'll go to Dairy Queen. Sorry? Dairy Queen? It's a, it's a fair place to eat. You, you want to go... Okay, you decide to go to, to Dairy Queen? <laughs> yeah. Sure. I can make a fast food map. Why not? Oh, look. Here we go. Uh, okay, you walk down the streets to Dairy Queen to sit and discuss more. Your plan. Oh god, you're so- it's, it's such a small Dairy Queen and you're so big! I heard it was owned by gnomes. <sighs> Alright, what are we doing again? 
or trying to get votes to pass the bill tax destroy taxes. Oh, the bill? Oh, okay. Trying to figure out how to convince, with air quotes, our political opponents. Mike, why do you want to abolish Texas anyways? Uh, I had a very sad moment happen here. That was... I'm not sure if you heard earlier. That can't be the only reason. You're sure it's not connected to the goblin? It's the horn goblin, all right? He lives somewhere in Texas. I, I know he does. So you want to abolish it? Yes. It He's makes the... sense. Look. I've had that horn since I was a child, all right? I was a jester since I was the age of two. You know how it is being a jester on the streets? I had nothing to hang on to besides that horn. But why would It's you... gone. How did the goblin know you so well? He didn't. He's just a dick. He just took you while I was eating a Dairy Queen. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, let's stick to one gun, remember? Or did we flash back to when the horn was stolen? Sure. <laughs> there you are, sleeping alone. Soundly in the city gardens. What do you dream of? Uh, me and the horn in a, in a flowery field. You and the horn in a flowery field. Hold on, let me find the horn. So, one hand has the horn, the other hand has a, uh, has a, uh, a freeze from Dairy Queen. There's your horn. You're suddenly woken from your slumber as you hear a voice say, Well, 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 if it isn't Mike Dong, the jester. It, it's Mike Hard Dong for you. <laughs> oh. That's a nice horn there. You mind if I take a look? Oh, sure. Have it. You mind if I, uh, okay. Thanks. You like it? I really like it. How do you play it? Uh, you put your, your, your lips on, on the smaller end of it. You blow. <laughs> he blows it. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got it. It is so good. <laughs> yeah, it actually is pretty good. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well there there we go. Uh, <laughs> suddenly, as you're just enjoying this time together, you hear a boom. 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 What the fuck is that? Boom. Oh, I don't know. What? What is that? Do you hear that? I look around. You look around. Make a perception check. Right. Uh, you don't see it until it's. he's right next to you. There's a massive... Carnivorous Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Named Elon Musk? <laughs> oh, no, says the goblin. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm out of here. He runs. No, my horn. Elon Musk, but it's too late. Elon Musk cuts you off and attacks. Wait, roll initiative. Oh, no. If, if only I knew it, this is a backstory, so I can't die or else things would be very funky in the future. Buy a Tesla, says the T-Rex. You're up first. No, I won't buy a Tesla. Buy my bitcoins! Oh. You attack with your short. That's a hit! 
uh, no Colossus Slayer, it hasn't taken damage yet, but you do seven piercing damage. You prick Elon Musk's toe. Brr, he grunts and bites. Oh god. You take 21 piercing damage as he holds you in his mouth, shaking you back and forth. What do you do? As my reaction, I want to try and get my Dairy Queen and put it in his mouth. Okay. Wait, as a reaction or as an action? Wait. I, I, I guess it's an action since my turn. Yes. Uh, okay. Make a... Animal handling check? You shove it in his mouth and suddenly... He drops you. Is that... Mmm. Um. A frosty. Thank you. And he walks off. Dairy Queen solves majority of problems, but now I cut. By the way, says, uh, coming back. What's, what's, what's your name? My name is Mike Hard Dog. Mike Hard Dog, eh? Yeah. Wow. If you ever need me, blow that horn again. I don't have the horn! Bye! Yeah, as I start walking away, so like, like, humping, like, like humping away, like, uh, stupid fucking dinosaur. Wow! You had a horn that summoned dinosaurs? <laughs> yes, thank you, <laughs> Rook. That was beautiful. Yeah. Huh? That's crazy. Oh, and you still haven't healed from those Tyrannosaurus Rex bites. <laughs> That's even crazier. You haven't taken a long rest in hey. ten years? You can't sleep without the horde. <laughs> and now that goblin has a gun? <laughs> yeah. I... It, it looked almost like one of those ones from, like, the, like the alien movies. So I, I, I think it's, like, fucking futuristic and shit. Which is, like, the worst part. Well, you know I what? Try running him over with my Toyota Corolla. I believe in you both," says Pi. Additional constructed lawn. Thanks, Pi. I see. What's the plan? Are we gonna run over those mad dog train wreck? Yeah, yeah you know what? Texas is, isn't too bad of a place. It's just that goblin. He, I, now I think about it, I'm pretty sure he's the one that also cut me off in the DQ line. Okay, we... <laughs> yep, you turn over and you see the goblin eating burgers and he waves at you. God damn it! He's there and I can't even do anything about it! <laughs> uh, oh, Callie, roll a 1d4. Alright. You just got gifted a magic item. Oh, the... The server comes over and hands you a, a spell scroll and says, This is a gift from an anonymous donor. She winks at you. Does the goblin still have my horn and the gun? Is it just like on the table? Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, you know what? I'm standing up for myself. I grab the, 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 the blizzard I have and I start walking up to the goblin. And I say, take this! And I cast uh, Sleep at first level. Uh, okay. R roll. What's the roll again? Wait. Roll initiative. Not sure. As you approach. Okay, well, the goblin failed. Did I also roll? Or... <laughs> oh. Sure. It didn't, it didn't get my thing. I gotta help him. There we go. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Just oh, whatever. Like That's fine. Yeah. It, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. Roll, roll, uh... It should say on the sleep description, right? Uh, Wait, you don't have I sleep. Don't have what are you... Well, isn't it, isn't it... Is it a first level scroll, just like whatever I want? Or is it like... No, I... I have it? You, uh, roll a... I'm looking at the spell list right now. Roll a, uh... Roll a 1d50. You can just type slash roll 1d50. Yeah, I'm gonna type that. 
Okay, then you approach the goblin. And you pull out the spell scroll. And it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It has cause fear on it. I'm a, I guess I'm going to use that. I'm going to be like, if you don't give back my horn, I will destroy your career. <laughs> your spell save DC is 9? Okay, I'll make a wisdom save. He says, and he picks up the gun and horn and jumps out the window and runs. You're gonna be cancelled. Let's go after him. Yeah. To, 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 to Toyota. <laughs> you hop in the... <laughs> okay, then we <laughs> we go to the street again where there's a, a car chase happening in a Toyota Corolla. Yes. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Also, uh, also, there's a there's a pirate flag painted on the hood and also on every door. Okay, oh. I I highly doubt there's a Toyota Corolla uh, <laughs> token, but let's see if I look up Toyota. Oh, okay, this actually looks kind of like a Toyota Corolla. Thank you, Brooke. I I know DQ can solve everything. Okay, you're dri you you're driving up to the chat. What's the name of this goblin, by the way? Uh, you're driving up on this goblin. There's, as it just so happens, there is a Kevin MacLeod song called Cruisin' for Goblins, so this has to be the track I play. Tommy Thimble Thumb? Th Tommy, th Tommy Thumb. Tom Thumb. You're rolling up on Tom Thumb. Tom Thimble Thumb. Yeah. You never catch me alive, he says. Are we supposed to be on a different map, or because I still see the Dairy Queen? Oh shit! Let me transfer you over to to the chase scene. The Dairy Queen. There you go. Sorry, it, it took a little setup. You're after Tom Thumb. You're cruising for goblins. Get him! I want. To, I want to be speeding. And I want to try to run him over. You want to run over Tommy Thumb? Yes. Actually, no, I'm not. No, actually, no. Never mind. Because then I will damage the horn. I don't want to do that. Okay. Tommy Thumb's running. He has. He has a gun in one hand. And a horn in the other. I wanna. While piloting the fucking car with my feet, I want to try to shoot him with my bow. Okay. <laughs> Make an attack roll. <laughs> What'd you roll? Oh, the roll damage. Seventeen. Oh, you right. hit him for five piercing I'm, damage. I'm, ah! assuming sneak, I'm assuming sneak attack doesn't apply. No. Okay. Okay, um. roll a... Do you, want, you can do it a, a move. Wait, no. If we're still initiative, then it's Tommy Thumb's turn. Okay, Tommy Thun turns his gun on the car and shoots. Oh, fuck. The driver, which is you. Fair enough. He shoots the Toyota Corolla. And he crit nice. fails the shot. Does he shoot himself? Like, should he shoot the ground, like, fucks up his I, I don't know, we're using the bubble table. As he begins to attack his opponent, he begins to fear that they are the superior combatant. <laughs> They're too scary! I mean, he's, he's already afraid, so... I don't think that'll... True. Okay. Much. Uh, then it's back over to you, Callie. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna appear on top of the of the car right here at the window. And I'm gonna shoot him. With my bow. Okay. We got this, says Pi. Meg, take a shot. Oh, all right. That's a hit. Roll damage. Oh, you shoot Tommy Thumb in the back. Says Tommy Thumb and he dies. Yes! Pull over! Yeah, I go to pull over and I want to swerve out of the road so I don't actually accidentally run over the. Yeah, the horn. You come to a stop. Tommy Thumb has two arrows sticking out of his back. The gun and the horn lie on either side. You can take the gun. 
I just want my horn. Yeah, I'm gonna take the gun. What do I get? Do you want uh, anything from here? I don't. I'll take. Like I'll take things. Tommy. Sure. I don't know what you're gonna do with with a dead goblin, but you know, your Go choice. Ahead. Yeah, have fun. Thanks. Where are we going now? Well, now that we have a gun, and also political dissidents. Yeah. I think what? I know exactly what to do with this horn. Let's go to the next meeting. I have a little friend, the sharper one. We could take over the parliament. Exactly. To okay. the meeting. To are, the meeting. We're, we're committing a coup? Yes. Okay. Let's go! Also, how does the gun work? Uh, I can give you the sheet, but hold on. We're going to take a ten-minute intermission here. As, uh, as we break. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who's still watching this massacre of a D&D story. Uh, actually, I've, I've been enjoying this. <laughs> it's just... Some good old fashioned uh, buffoonery. Honestly, uh, it, yeah, it, it's 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 pretty fun. Okay, good. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself too. Put on a little chilled out groove. Yeah, I was going to run him over with my car, but then I figured that uh, we were trying to save the horn. Uh. Yeah, well, you got the T-Rex summoning horn now. And also a gun. Listen to more Cruising for Goblins? Ah, you, sure, fine. We'll put on some Cruising for Goblins. Love that 8-bit trance. Okay. You got a gun? Right, we have to set up a poll. What is today's question gonna be? No, uh, a prediction. Will Texas be abolished? Pretty simple one. Okay, place your bet, folks. You got ten minutes. Answer correctly, and you stand the chance to win more points. Answer incorrectly, and you, you lose points. Place your bets. Place your bets. Okay, we'll be back in ten minutes. Mics are hot, by the way, still, y'all, but uh, you can feel free to hang out and talk, as we sometimes do. Oh my god, who bet 500 on no? This is gonna be a spicy one, I feel. Like it's Rook. No one. Rook is loaded. No one knows. <laughs> no one knows it was I who sent the train. Is that is that? Take care. Well, if you did, then we'll have to have a flashback slash monologue revealing it. Sure. Excellent. But uh, but later. But later. Yeah. Well, we're on a break right now. We're just on a break. Yeah. Once uh, once someone. Uh, when, when there's like only one person left and it's a dramatic standoff in the parliament, <laughs> I right. reveal my mess. <laughs> because because we, it's basically only us three who are four actually abolishing the Texas. I mean. Well, you're gonna commit a coup to abolish Texas. Possibly. Possibly. Depends on what happens. Indeed. <laughs> this is, uh... You know, I think this is just a testament to how you really can just, uh... If you try hard enough, you really can say anything in improv and somehow make it... I don't want to say make sense, but, uh... You know, have some sort of narrative thread. I think. I don't know where this is going, of course. It's improv, but... 
Anyways, I renamed the stream to Abolishing Texas. Yeah. I mean, at this point, we don't really have a reason to abolish taxes, but I feel like we're just going through with it, because why not? Well, maybe that's the realization you have to come to, you know? Hardcore political commentary. Are you really... Do you really have a reason to do this, or are you just going through the motions? Because you've already built up a support base that requires you to do this, or else you'll lose your position. A support base of literally one person. <laughs> yeah, my reason for doing it was just because of the goblin, so I guess now it's just doing it just to do it. The objective has always been abolish Texas. That's... Somehow abolishing Texas has been the only through line we've had. This whole session. <laughs> I mean, the goblin was uh, uh no, but it, like a, it's just another element than abolishing. Stuff. We're talking about objectives here, you know. Oh yeah. I guess, we, yeah, I guess you're right. We do still have a cab, right? Uh, to deal with, and the T-Rex, Elon Musk, and giant squirrel, Justin Trudeau. A sitting court with Justin Trudeau as a cat. What? No, Justin Trudeau is a squirrel. There's an alien named Cat, and a dog named Trainwreck. <laughs> come on, come on people, get your total improv canon right. Okay, this is... Okay, so you're gonna... We're starting off with you back in Parliament, right? So actually this is pretty easy to do. I don't have to do much setup for this one. This is crazy. Hey, it's improv! Look, we had a very cohesive narrative last time. Let's have... Let's fuck around this one. And yet, somehow, we have, like, three times as many reward points being bet on this one than last night's. I mean, yeah, we have serious stakes here. We got serious... I, 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 don't, I don't know what the stakes are where, where last time. Well, we're gonna have to do... I think we're gonna have to do a few more flashbacks to establish some more stakes here. We'll see. I'm gonna go to the washroom. I'll be right back. Keep the chat entertained. Oh... I don't know, Twitch. That's okay. Do, uh, tell him about your life. Read him a poem. Doesn't matter to me. Um, I mean, I have a fucking poem book right here, but it's not in English. Even better. Read him non-English poetry. Um, yeah. I mean, fucking... I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get to, to a serious, uh, what's it called, game, but, uh, this is, this, this is some good things to do. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, what'd you say? I was saying that, like, I want to get into, like, like an actual D&D &D game, but this is good to do in the meantime, like, until I find one, so. Oh, yeah. Just doing one-shots every now and then. That's best. Uh, what's the funniest exp in actual experience in actual D and D you've had? I've had. Uh, um, I run a uh, a. Uh, if you know anime, I run a Jitsu Kaisen game, and these players were at a uh, a hotel. This, this is just one of the most recent things that happened, and um, one person had had a key card for all the rooms, but. They're an idiot, and they opened up the door, and then just like forgot that they had it, and they were all looking for the key. And one of the characters got so mad that he barged down the door, and then right after he did it, the girl said, "Oh yeah, it's right here," and brought it out. And right. uh, we left the crater in the room. <laughs> so, I mean, sure, why not? You know, sometimes yeah. you just gotta, you just gotta, you gotta, you know. This doesn't sound yeah, like poetry. Yeah, no, because I, 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 I accidentally, 
I accidentally spilled water in my poetry book. Anyway. So I could read oh. it. No, not the not the poetry book. We got an F in the chat for the po poetry book. Dang. Thank you for the Fs. I but no, yeah, I just board. asked him. Oh, I yeah. just asked him what the funniest, what the funniest thing was that happened to him in actual D and D. Are you saying this is an actual D and D? No, no. I asked him what his what his funniest experience with actual D and D was. That would be that's what. We yeah, were are you about. saying this isn't actual D and D? In like a <laughs> long, long, in like, a, you know what I mean. That's okay. This isn't real D and D. Oh, we started on. We started a um, one of my other games. We started a, a cult. It was it was a church, but it was really a cult, and uh, it was uh, based off of a guy's piss. So they called it the uh, Church of Golden Water. Nice. Oh, those are pretty weird. Yeah, I also remember starting a cult there. once. In D and D, I think everybody started their cult at least once in D and D before. For, for me it was. For me, for me, I was uh, I was just a, a warlock who got a couple of lucky rolls. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, and basically, oh, I basically I accidentally sort of created. It was a long. This was a longer running campaign, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I accidentally created a uh, an entire uh, fucking. Separatist state within, uh, within like a main empire, the main empire we were in, because there was a like a uh, enforced religion in the empire, but I managed to convince enough people that to my to join my cult, and in ah. the end we it became a whole separatist a separatist state, but we weren't there at that point anymore. So I don't know. So we we later uh, we later learned that there was a, that there was a peace treaty signed at the, the actual separatist state became its own country. Oh. So yeah, I created a country at one point. All right. One of my players recently, they play a bard and they want to. They, they said they don't want... They never attack. They don't attack. They don't do any damage to anybody. As an explicit rule. But they recently were rereading the uh, description for prestidigitation. And it says you can soil a one-foot square area. So now they... Instead, they defeat enemies by making them pee their pants. I mean, yeah, that works. Oh. I mean, if, if, like, fighting workarounds, you know? Like in my other game, I have the one where I was talking about. We blew, a blew up a mountain. Um, uh, one of the players is a cleric, and he has a very strict uh, code of honor and whatnot. You know, that classic stuff. And he, one of the parts is that he'd never harm a woman willingly. Uh, so to get around that, he uses spirit guardians. <laughs> the spell, because it's the guardians harming the woman, not him. Does he hurt non-binary characters? I mean, I guess he would probably, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know, actually. I didn't ask. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get started. Yep. Welcome back. It's time for to continue D&D Total Improv. It's, it's time to continue the train wreck. Or the post-train wreck wreck. Uh, before we get started, just a little promo if you like this. There's no more shows this week, but next week, there'll be even more. Probably around these same, same time slots, we'll see. And also, if you, in some, for some reason, think... Based off of this session that me DMing would be... You would enjoy. I am a professional DM, that's how I pay my rent. So, 
Uh, I have an opening for one of my games on Thursdays at 1 p.m. Eastern, and if you would, if you would like to uh, get in on that, please DM me over Discord or send me a message over Twitch, and we can talk about it. Uh, cause we have room for one more player, and it's still, it's very, it's only like three sessions in, so still lots of room for the campaign. How much do we have to pay for less shows? Uh, you have to, you have to become a triple tier subscriber. And then turn off notifications on your phone. But you have to do it n now. Did you do it? I, the the C Jacks person's doing it. We return to Parliament. Okay. Which has been called into session again by giant squirrel Justin Trudeau. The train wreck in the center of Parliament has sent many people dying. <laughs> When, uh... No? And Justin Trudeau says, I have uh, brought in a tiebreaker in order to uh, resolve this conflict. And he steps aside and in comes Gelatinous Cube Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah, I say, says Queen Elizabeth II. I am here to decide upon the results of this vote. If you would be so kind as to allow me to do so, says Queen Elizabeth II. I have decided that Texas will not be abolished as the tiebreaker. Hold on. Oh, yes? Hold on. For you see, we also have a person who could, who could break this tie. And I blow the horn. <laughs> okay. Uh, you blow the horn. And bursting through the same hole as the, uh, as the train runs in Elon Musk, the Tyrannosaurus wreck, who shouts, Thank you. That's from my own mouth. Uh, who shouts, I... You called? You called? Yes, for you see, I have vanquished the, the beast that we were gonna... that I was gonna slay before. And, uh, I need you to settle this tiebreaker and destroy Texas. Abolish it. Well, uh, that just leaves us at the same tiebreaker, then, says Justin Trudeau. As we all know, once you enter Parliament, you automatically gain a vote. So Elon Musk is now a, an MP. <laughs> That's right, says Elon Musk, and I vote for the abolition of Texas. Why are we, why are we abolishing Texas? Sidebar. Wait. We also have one more that can break this tie. I look at. Wait, at hold on. Tommy Thimble Thumb. Are you. Are you not gonna explain why we're, we're abolishing Texas, says Elon Musk? Uh. Dairy Queen. Someone. Uh, someone cut me a line, Dairy Queen. Oh. You know how good Dairy Queen is. Okay. I vote. I vote for the abolition of Texas. Okay, you look over at Tommy Thimble Thumb, who pie is. Floating with his magical powers. He is dead, but still a body nonetheless. I want to turn invisible and get behind him and just say, <laughs> I fought for. And I'm turning invisible using my hidden step ability. Hidden step. You match until the start of your. You have six seconds. Yeah. I'm okay. Just get behind them. Make a just, deception I check. I abolish. What does Elizabeth think of all of this? 
Conspiring Bulbasaur, you summoned Queen Elizabeth II. What does Queen Elizabeth II think of all of this? Well, that uh, that's good enough for me, says Justin Trudeau. I accept the vote of the dead body. Therefore, I... it is five against four. Not so fast, says Trainwreck. Yeah, says Wamike. And he, he takes out the floating block. <laughs> and the floating block says, I vote against. How could you? How could I? You're the ones who abandoned me in the train. Flashback. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Flashback. To the train. Where this all started. If I could find a train map. <gasps> Everybody gasps. Good heavens, says Queen Elizabeth. Okay, train station. At the train station! Queen Elizabeth takes out... Uh, or doesn't take out... Queen Elizabeth just literally, like, flows over and consumes a bag of popcorn into herself. Uh, okay. Okay. So what's the plan, says Floating Block? We're just gonna crash this train into Parliament? Hey, that's the plan. But you have to remember to jump off the train before it crashes. Well, you're gonna be yeah, there so with me, I right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but oh. we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump off before the train actually crashes. That's the plan, you know. Uh, really? Well, yeah, and then we steal the look, steal the train, right? We we drive it into, but so that we don't crash in. Well, so we're not in the train when it crashes. We have to jump out before that, right? I want your guarantee, Mike Dong. Will you place I your hand you. on me? Uh, of course I will. You're my best friend. Yes, you're my best friend too. This is all I ever wanted. With that, we're all set. Yes, says the floating block. Let's get on this and train. This Texas will be abolished. Alright. And it starts starts chugging away. And uh, we cut to once the train's been uh once the train's been hijacked and is headed right towards Parliament's. Uh, in, like, the future times. Fuck, I don't even know what to do for a map. Uh. <laughs> Wait, uh, you, you have the, you have a gun to the, to the conductor's head. And Floating Block says, All right, we did it! We did it! Yeah! Yeah, now, quick, before it crashes, we have to get off. Right, let's get off! says the floating block. Alright. But that's when yeah. you decide to betray him. Right? I mean, I, I was gonna assume that, like, we're both gonna jump off, and then, like, before he does, like, I, like, trip and fall off by accident. It's uh, like, oh, shit. You're okay. You, you trip and fall off by accident, leaving them behind. Yeah. It's a, it's all a misunderstanding. Well, what's he? What's what's my card dong doing? He said he would be with us forever, until the end, or like you know, at least wait for the proper moment. He, I'm, not, I'm not there anymore. I've already jumped. You <laughs> bastards! Says floating block. Get back here! What are you? A and it crashes into Parliament. <laughs> it was all a misunderstanding, see? I told you to jump. You didn't. 
Yeah. How can I, I jump? I I'm a floating block. I can only float in a single velocity. Oh, oh fuck, I forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess you should have probably thought about that. <laughs> you monsters, he says. I'm on Team Trainwreck now. Not not the, not the you, tr Trainwreck, like the guy named Trainwreck. Not the people who caused the Trainwreck, just to clarify. I know, it's very confusing. <laughs> We're on team train wreck. Well, it looks like there Traitor. is a tie once more, says Justin Trudeau. Not so fast, you hear. Whoop, 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 whoop. As oh, fuck, it's the buzz. peeling into the parliament is none other than a cab. <laughs> the undercover police car. That's right. Motherfuckers, it's me. A cab. That's my gun you got there. I just got elected two seconds ago. You don't need to be elected, you just have to come in here. Really? Shit, that was like three million dollars in campaign funding. Never mind that, says A cab. I can't let you abolish Texas. Cuz I am Texas. Wait, you're Texas? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. What? <laughs> Fuck. It all makes you. sense now. Of course. <laughs> yep. It all makes sense now, right? It was a setup. It was a setup the whole the time. With the goblin and everything. <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> that's right, says A Cab. Every time you think you're driving to Texas, you just drive it into my exhaust pipe. <laughs> Son of Guys, a bitch. we have to take him down. Yeah. Uh, that is a violation of parliamentary procedure, says Justin Trudeau. God, he's literally there. Do you guys still support a, a, a goddamn car? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't really have a problem with him, says Floating Block. Yeah, he's mad, like me, the mad dog train wreck. <laughs> says train wreck. Wah, says Wah Mike. I do believe that a cab has a point, says Queen Elizabeth the second. Hold on now. Under the rules of finders keepers, that gun is now Jake's. A cab. <laughs> if you want it, you could have it, but you have to join our side. But then, then I'd abolish myself based off the logic we established. That definitely makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'll, I'll put you in, in an urn, and then I'll carry you around with me. We'll explore other cities. Don't you? You're stuck in Texas. Don't you want to go to other places? It's as close. There is one place I want to go, says a cab. That is. Where's that? Uh. I want to go back to the King's Court where we first jested together. It, it, it do what? I want to jest with you again. Well, we could do that afterwards. Could we? He says we flash we back. <laughs> flash back to the king's court. <laughs> I, do we meet him again? I guess so. It's it's yes. You recall back when you were just young children, j jesting for money <laughs> for the king. Of the court. Okay. <laughs> it, it all, look, it all makes... It all makes sense. It all makes perfect sense. Wow! I'm little... I'm little A-cab! Says little A-cab. Oh! Where's the king? I, I, I am here, says the king. 
It's me, King of the Lizard Folk, John D. Rockefeller the Third. Just for me, would you? Hey, Cab. We gotta do the the super move. <laughs> okay. Uh, a cab rum, 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 revs his engines. Right. I guess I'll, um, I'll, like, do, like, a front flip on top of the car. And I'll start juggling while he's, like, driving around. Rum, 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 make a performance check. Rum, 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 rum. Or actually, he's really young, so he's like, rum, 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 rum. Oh, no. But it's at this moment. That Mike, you fumble. And A Cab swerves to avoid you as you land in front of him. No! And he crash suddenly. He you see as you watch as he goes, wait, Mike! No! And he falls no. down this long well, disappearing. No! No, oh, he was my my one jester friend, the only friend I had besides my horn. I I forgot over all these years. No. Uh, well, that is quite. Yeah, Mike Hard Dong. You're fired. Yeah. That was terrible. Get out of my sight. You're freelance now. No. I'm going to make love to my husband now, he oh, says. Wait, you're uh, uh, my husband, Jake's... No. I'm not questioning this anymore, <laughs> I'm just leaving. Oh, baby, says John Rockefeller. <laughs> I hope you... I hope you never leave me and become a petty criminal. Like some, some weirdo who dresses like a pirate and steals things from cars. <laughs> no. Maybe. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know, baby? What? What do you mean? What? What's that over? Oh my God! It's it's a floating block. I dropped the wall. Jake, no! Arr. <laughs> Don't you remember uh, now? Guess... Says Ake. <laughs> I guess I'll say. Wait, that was you. You look all different now. No wonder I couldn't tell. That's right. I got these fancy lights. But I'm still the same old A-cab. Although, back in the day, I was A-jab. The J for Jester. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, then, if that's the case, let's go back and, and make redemption. Back? Back where? To the king's court? Yes. Uh, but we are in the middle of a parliamentary session right now, says Justin Trudeau. Well, I, I'm saying I'll, I'll take you back. If you vote for our side, I'll take you back over. With your ashes, we'll, we'll do the best gesturing you've ever seen to oh, see from the heavens. That's a good question, C. Jack. You don't understand, says A. Cab. After I fell down that well, people started <coughs> stepping inside of me. They found oil and started general oil, standard oil. Oh, they no. founded an entire country that was turned into a state. I'm Texas now. But do you want to be Texas? Do I want to? Look be at Texas? what you become. You become the ultimate. You become the ultimate joke. That is Texas. You make the jokes. You aren't the joke. I can't. This you're, isn't you. You're calling me a joke, says A Cab. That's what, that's what the king said. He told me afterwards. <sighs> he. 
a cab. A <laughs> cab. Fucking. Okay. A cab turns turns around and says, "You think I'm a joke? How about this for? La how about this for laughs?" He says, and he uh. He I can He runs over Queen Elizabeth the Second. <laughs> Texas is gonna become what? an independent country now. <laughs> oh heavens, says Queen Elizabeth the Second. <laughs> and he he speeds off. That's enough, A Cap. Wait, wait, uh. Oh my god, he, he killed the queen! Off, uh, with that now being done, it's a. It's a four to five thing. So is Texas abolished now? Yeah, actually. Is it. Then it's settled, says Justin Trudeau. Okay, well, then you... Never mind. You vote to abolish Texas. <laughs> like, runs away and, like, disintegrates. Yeah, he, he starts to run away, and then you hear, Wait, what's happening? I feel like I'm being abolished. Texas has been abolished. Fool. No, this can't be happening, he says. I... I was supposed to... Be an independent state? No. I guess I'll walk up to the to the to the ashes and I'll pick them up, for I'm a man of my word. You pick up the ashes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess first of all, Texas was abolished. So, <laughs> good job to everybody who guessed correctly. <laughs> Choose outcome. Yes, Texas was abolished. Complete prediction. Texas killed Queen Elizabeth II and then was immediately abolished. I mean, that was completely his own fault. Well, what what now, says Elon Musk? I know what I must do. Elon Musk, if, if you go do this with me, we'll get Dairy Queen afterwards. You want to join? If I what? Sorry, you, you cut out. If you join me in this last adventure, we'll get Dairy Queen afterwards. Oh, sure. What adventure? I have to go to the king's court. Okay. Oh, let's... Wait. wait, which king? Sorry, which king? Let's go! It's too late. You have, you already cut to there. Awesome. I'm going to cast uh, Disguise Self on myself. What do you disguise yourself as? Um... Like... Just the most average looking human in existence. Okay. You disguise yourself as... A, you, <laughs> you just take tape and pin down your cat ears. Uh, Pretty much, yeah. Okay, and you return to the king's court. Just, just so that he doesn't recognize me. Yes. So that's... Well, I say, welcome to my court. It's been a long time since I've seen you, Mike Hardong. Shut it, king. You've oh 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 dear. I don't I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I'm here to do one thing and one thing, and that's it. To give you a, a nice smile on that face. From a gesturing smile. so hard you've never seen. Well what what is this? You come here with a with a horn in your hand and and a pi a sentient pylon carrying a goblin's body and a Tyrannosaurus Rex and a completely average looking human with a gun? <laughs> and is that a is that a floating block? Hey. You Wait, again you floating block? I came for my revenge. We'll get it right now. 
You owe me 20 bucks. Sorry, we didn't do a flashback for me, but he owes me 20 bucks. Oh. That's understandable. Uh, that, that will not come out of the royal coffers, says John D. Rockefeller III. <laughs> okay, what what do you do, my card well, dong? Alright. I'm, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna set up a random situation. So, I am going to... Stand on top of the T-Rex, on top of its head. Okay. I will... I will grab the ashes, and I will take a piss in it. In in the urn. Okay, you take a piss in the urn. Then, I throw it in the air. I throw it in, in, in the pit. And while I'm doing that, I want to juggle six balls in one hand. With, with the other one. Uh, okay. And to top it all off, I want to do... To top it all off, I want to do this all on one foot. Make a... Uh, performance check. You do it. Oh, I say, says John D. Rockefeller. Oh, quite entertaining! I love it! Oh, 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 good show, good show, good show, excellent. If only Jake Snowfinch was here. Alas. I don't know who that is. Me neither, says Yarr. Pi. But me and this regular human were lovers, right? Sure. Will you rub my crystalline sphere? Later, it's not appropriate right now. Well, I would be glad to take you back into- oh! Says John D. Rockefeller as the floating block flies into his head, smashing his skull to pieces immediately. That's for the 20 bucks, says the floating block. Nice work, Yar. And you all laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Uh... <laughs> Oh, it's... <laughs> ah, 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 laughs Pylon. Oh, 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 laughs Elon Musk. Oh, ah, 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 ah. And your, Toro your Toyota Corolla pulls up, and you get in and put on a pair of sunglasses. Yes. Yeah. Undo my carriers, obviously. You unfurl your cat ears. Where are you guys going? Says Floating Block. To wherever the wind takes us. And that was her term. Yeah! Oh, Goes yeah. the soundtrack, and then the rock kicks in. Uh, oh, as you as you as you speed off into the sunset. Damn! Says Floating Block, watching you as you drive by. Maybe someday, I'll be as cool as them. And the credits roll. And that's... Well, there you go. That's our story for today. What a time. What, what a... What a tale. What a, what a story. <laughs> there was some... You know what? I don't think that was a train wreck. I think that was at least a step above train wreck. I think that was, at most, uh, a, a sailing wreck. But like a small sailing, like a personal sailing boat wreck. Hey, listen, it... it <laughs> that was, was a Tesla wreck. Some, listen, it was fucking something, but you managed to make it work. So yeah, props. we all managed to make it work. Together. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like we just kind of picked up on where we left off. Like, yeah. The story of, of Bloodshed, Dairy Queen, and Horns. That was not the oh, most okay. nonsensical episode we've ever run, if you can believe it. I can't believe I got a fucking... I, I, I got a fucking... Um, what's it called? Uh, a new fucking... Uh, a gun? SO before they sent it a block and smashed my ex's head and... C Jack asks, can we get another flashback? No, but you know what? Actually, let's get an epilogue. 
Huh? Sure. Okay. Go for it. We cut to where else but the uh, the local Dairy Queen. Where you pull up in your car. I guess you've been pulling John D. Rockefeller's body behind with you the whole time. Yeah. yeah. He's running out now. As you, uh, sure. you step up out of the car. There's, there's, uh, there's the Dairy Queen. Wow, says Pi. Hmm, what are you gonna get? I'm gonna get a Dilly Bar. You know? I'm gonna get... That doesn't sound like a bad idea. I want one large freeze, please. One large? One large freeze coming up. Uh, and you're all, you're all sitting and eating and having a good time. <laughs> when suddenly, there's a deafening crash as the ceiling caves in. <laughs> and you're all instantly crushed to death by a giant squirrel. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, says Justin Trudeau. <laughs> and then... <laughs> And that's where the tale truly ends. A fitting end, one could say. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. After after my character like like took like, like a scoop of the ice cream, it was just gonna die. Like that was all I was gonna do. But you know, this is better. Yeah. The giant squirrel crushing this. Whoops. <laughs> good. It's good. I'm glad we're all satisfied now. Great. It was fun. So. Thank you to everybody who, for watching, for who tuned in. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, C Jack, Rook, Cass, Conspiring Bulbasaur, especially for playing along using reward points. Great summoning of the T Rex, Rook. And why don't we get a huge round of virtual applause for our two new players, first time today, Callie and Don. What a sh. They took, they took the turd I gave them and polished it into art. Art, folks, art. So, uh, you can tune in next week for another episode of Total Improv. And, uh, please, if you're interested in joining that Thursday game at 1 p.m. Eastern, hit me up. Help me pay my rent. Uh, anything you two want to say before we close out? Yeah, this was this was fun. I'm definitely gonna join again. Okay. I don't have Dairy Queen as much as I should. Ah, uh, don't go to Dairy Queen. Support. There is no Dairy. There is no Dairy Queen where I live. I've been to Dairy I Queen in like <laughs> years. Uh, I have never. I have yeah. never been to Dairy Queen in my life. We don't even have a Burger King. We just have a McDonald's. That's it. <laughs> In like <laughs> the immediate, I don't know how many kilometer area from where I live. Don't think we have the McDonald's. It's one McDonald's. Chat. Who do we raid? I don't and have anybody I'm following to raid. Sorry, what? I had to ask the chat now. I was gonna say this. Uh, this. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say. I was just gonna say this. What? The, the, I just remember there is one Burger King ripoff called Burek King. Where they don't sell uh, <laughs> sell burgers. Yeah, it's a, it's a food. It, it's buckets. There used to be a McDonald's yeah. knockoff in Israel called McDavid's, as I recall. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, no suggestions from the chat. So we're gonna raid this random guy named Reverend Panda. He has five viewers and he's map building right now. I like pandas. I like reverends. I think some of them. Let's raid Reverend Panda, shall we? Send your love to Reverend Panda. And please, everybody, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see y'all next week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait. Uh... Five, four, three, two, two one. One. Right now. Okay. Let's just make sure that goes through. Blah, 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 blah. And.